Hello guys and welcome to episode 14 of my Yesh campaign in Steel Division 2 playing on the Soviet side. Previously we managed to push forwards again in the centre and now we just need to finish off the right of the centre and then move up the units on the far right hand side. So let's figure out where we are going to attack. I do have the 27th Guards Tank Brigade here full of T-34s ready to go. I do want to dislodge the 20th Recon Group, but I don't want to bump into their defences. So I'm thinking of another way we can do this. Possibly I can go for the 7th Assault Battalion straight up the middle with the 1127th Rifle Regiment. We can then bring in the tanks to reinforce in Phase B, and that should pull them off their defences, because they are not adjacent, so we will not have to deal with those defences should we do that. There's no real big infantry unit here that's going to counterattack either. There is, of course, the Assault Gun Brigade uh, that could be a problem, uh, but we'll head back into them uh, when we need to. So yeah, I think destroying the 7th Assault Battalion is a good idea. Uh, we'll probably make this attack to begin with. I'm going to bring up this unit in Phase B as insurance, I guess, because the Yesh Garrison can reinforce in Phase B, which would bring in some Recruiti, uh, Granitieri, and uh, Kalari, uh, Chichitash, uh, Moto. So, yeah, we'll see. Right, it's tactical battle. Oh, they didn't even reinforce. Okay. Well, that sorts that out then. Damn. How do we deal with these guys? <laughs> do I just have to deal with the defenses? I guess we might. Pack 50, pack 37, pack 75s. I won't want to throw my uh, 27th Guards Tank Brigade into that, no way. It certainly hit the 7th Recon group with them. This is... Kalari, uh, the Zebbies, uh, Chichitesh, hmm. Do I have enough infantry to lead the way? I do. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. Attack like so. Bring in, let's see, this unit in phase B to reinforce. Oh, they could bring in their assault gun brigade in phase B, but we should be done by then. If they do bring those in at phase B, that would be really good for us. Really good, actually. Tactical battle. Jump on in. Yeah, because we're probably going to disorganize them straight off the bat. We might not even have to fight them after all this. It'd be great. The lovely thing about this T-34 unit is it does have the infantry to back itself up. That's really nice. There's not much in the way of AT... Uh, guns and stuff, so I'm actually going to bring in probably the BA-20 to lead the charge for some of my T-34s across the open. And then we'll have some other units close up. Oh, we do have T-70 Eros Viticus perfectly. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's bring those in as well. Because those can obviously scout the Kalari for us. Though I'm probably just going to use standard Gavardia to draw them out. They are going to focus somewhere, and wherever they do focus is going to be a hard time. That's for sure. Alright, these can all just go to the left-hand side. And kind of want to bring in a Max in, but it's, I guess it's a waste. Let's just bring in like a T-34 from Rati, and we'll go from there. It's going to be an area of this map. I mean, actually, the whole map is probably just going to end up pushing forwards a lot. But almost for sure, we're going to finish things pretty quick. They're bringing out the Motor Mitrailleira as the first thing they do. I'm going to have this Gavardia just drive all the way up here because there might not be anything on that right hand side. It looks like most of it's going to be on the left here. Right, let's bring in another tank. 
can back up the center. On T-34s. I haven't really used standard T-34s much in campaign battles. It's nice to see them out in force here. Solid amount of medium tanks going for it. Probably going to want to get my T-70 Rajatkas in here ASAP. They're going to be so important for taking out the Kalari, especially in the town. Yeah, let's bring those in there as well. Getting quite a lot of damage off. I should be able to stop that reinforcement point, which is good. I'm going to have this T-70 go to the left side. This is going to cut across. Oh, let's unload that. Looks like I'm going to have to bring the T-34 up there, because otherwise the Clary are going to kill us. All right, got my Kalari or Gavadia here. If they engage the Kalari, that's good because the T-34 will be able to help out. The nice thing about the T-34's 76s is they do have two machine guns, like two DPs, so they can pin down infantry quite well. Oh, that's not good. That's a bad engagement for us. Chichitesh, uh, the leaders which are buffing the uh, Kalari. We can take out the Motom and Mitralia. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to need another infantry squad here. Bring in some more infantry squads. Alright, that's done. Right, I'm going to have my Gavadia show themselves. And then hopefully the Kalari will start shooting and the T-34 can do the job. Okay, good. This is going to have to fall back. I don't know that I got too close. These I don't want to get cut off. Let's hurry things up. Don't want phase B to come too soon, otherwise we get screwed. Pretty hard. Give me those flags. There we go, that's more like it. <clears throat> Seven minutes would be fine. I would rather it be faster. And that's not good. Let's uh, drive this back. That's two ZBs. Uh, we're going to have to unload the Gavadi early. There should be a Kalari here somewhere. Oh, my Gavadia died. Oh, good. I guess it was ZB and Kalari. They died pretty fast. Alright. Uh, I do have... Uh, oh, we've got these Motorized Vitica squads. They'll be useful. Yeah, they'll be really useful, actually. A lot of troops here that I've got to take care of. I'm going to try and get this BA-20 up the hill. So many snipers. I send that T-70 over here. Uh, the Kalari are actually pushing back towards uh, friend their friendly lines. Alright kids, that's back in our control. Let's bring the ZB T-34 back over there. 
it's another Gavardia dead bring in some more Gavardia DP here Those Kalari falling back. Right, we're 20 to 4, which is good. We're getting there. We are getting there. It's a matter of killing the units that are holding us back. 2 minutes 35 seconds. Ooh, actually, I don't want to do that. We want to let it get to phase B, otherwise we don't get the disorganize on the other tanks. Um, hmm. <laughs> Awkward. Run! <laughs> Back off the hill! Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> I'll speed things up. Kalari at close range might kill my Gavardia there, which would probably be a good thing, actually. Okay, there we go. Whew. One minute twenty. Still victory. We're still gonna want to get a major victory or even a total victory would be nice. <laughs> I love the way we just like purposefully let them die. Right, looks like those can hold. Forty seconds left. I might be able to time this perfectly. Okay, it's phase B. We can take back that objective. We we'll take back this objective. Come on, we can do it. One. Oh, can we get the other one, please? Oh, that's a shame. Major victory would do. It's a shame because we won't destroy the unit we attacked, but we will disorganize the units afterwards. So, eh. here's what it is Kalari did kill three of our Galaria. Ah, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, that should disorganize those other units. I actually disorganized that unit. Hmm. Okay. I left them in a very interesting position because I, mean, I could potentially line up an attack here. We do something like this and it could work. But then again, I think I might want to keep these ready for any defensive battles on the right hand side. Especially with the 202nd Rifle Division, it's probably going to get attacked now it's been bombarded. Yeah. Although, one thing we could potentially do is attack the second battalion of the second mounted artillery regiment. We bombard both of these first, and when we push in there and these get pushed back, they won't be able to counterattack. That would just get rid of some of their artillery. Be good, because it gives them one less unit that they can use in phase A, and it also stops them bombarding. There's a lot to think about. 
I really do want to take out this 20th Recon group because it is blocking our way significantly right now. Let's just attack this one. We should have plenty of mortars, right? Yeah, I can use mortars to make the attack. We'll bring in the 78th Rifle Division HQ as our reinforcement. Nice right, tactical battle. Never mind. Okay, they didn't pull, pull them in. That's good. Pushes of 20th Recon out of their defenses. Fantastic. That is perfect. So, that's actually made us quite a lot of ground. Now we just got to make sure we make the right movements. So, I can move this one forwards. We'll keep them behind to reinforce. The HQ sections can move up. And the 285th Guards Rifle Regiment could move all the way up, but it would lose all of its action points doing that. Let's go over here. That's fine. Is this unit disorganized or is this unit disorganized? This unit's disorganized, isn't it? Okay. The 22nd Engineer Sapper Brigade. Let's have them zoom up behind us. Let's move that all the way forwards. Move these up as much as we can. Yeah, I'm going to move both of these. Cool. And then this artillery is just straight up not in range, so we'll move it over. And this Pioneer Brigade can move over as well. And the 27th Army HQ can move in here. 337th Rifle Division HQ. Move up. Great. I am going to have to move up this AA because it is not doing anything. We're going to put it in, in this gap. We can set it up to cover this area next time. We're going to have to deal with their aircraft, I think. In the next turn, they're going to hit us here somewhere. A lot of the important units that they'd use to attack are disorganized or destroyed. The assault gun brigade getting taken out there is really important. These guys could still do some serious damage. I am very tempted to attack the uh, light AA battalion. Just to take down that AA net. They'd have the recon in phase A. It would include two armored vehicles. They've got two Star Kalari everywhere. They'd then bring these guys in phase B. With the Reshitsa. Hmm. And we could do A, B. Do kind of want to bring these in A as well, but probably better we just do like a phase C unit. We can try that. Because if I can take down the AA, I can probably set up an interception over that area, which would be really good for the end of the turn. Also, we'd end up destroying one of their AA pieces, which is pretty important. Let's tactical battle, and we'll jump on in. They brought in the recon and they brought in artillery, I think, is probably two of the best things we could have asked for because, I mean, the recon was pretty much necessary, but the artillery won't, oh, that's the AT, sorry. Yeah, I mean, even so, it's still good. Just going to have to, hmm. Think about this a little bit. Can I just put a couple of OBs in the center? I 
I'm going to want this threes as well, probably. Because they're going to have vehicles that do a lot of damage to us. So I'm going to bring in a, quite a few of these. The one on the right hand side here. Okay. Then I'm going to need recon. It's going to be pretty important. So snipers. to spot where their stuff is and then we're gonna to have to probably bring in like a mortar every tick after the start because I'm basically gonna be bringing in Rocky DP probably for the most part push forwards they might not actually defend part of the map thinking because usually what happens especially when they only have one unit is they'll sort of concentrate all their forces on one side bring in a 120mm mortar actually 81mm is probably more reliable so let's do that okay let's launch the battle Bringing it on the right because it's going to be harder to get through than this. This can be easily killed by just threes and OBs. Whereas the right cannot. I'm going to have to rely on my, my, my mortars a lot more. Looks like it's pushing up quite a bit here. Right, that's the ABU, so I will take that out. Alright, good. So far, so good. A lot of recon vehicles. Fire me. Might even have to bring in an actual AT gun. Okay, let's have these as three is pushing forwards. I can't really move that unit forwards until that ABO saw is taken care of. Uh, let's move that over there to take to shoot that. Okay. Back 20 mil. We can take that out. Get the sniper forwards. Gonna move this up on the main raid. They do have some infantry, some decent infantry apparently. Oh, speaking of decent infantry, they've got a lot of Kalari there. <laughs> Been real difficult for me to deal with. It's gonna be a tough old battle. When we get into phase B, uh, we should be better off. We're gonna have to hide those. Because those Kalari, they are hurting. Uh, the Chichitesh Moto taking those out is uh, pretty nice because that will open up the left side, apparently. Then back into cover. Might just helped us out a lot with the ZB. 
I'm going to bring in more Stalaki on the right hand side. I feel like we're just going to keep bumping into like the Chichitesh eventually and it's going to get really tedious. We have one more to still that we can use if I need to pin things down. But I think the Sniper is engaging the Chichitesh Moto and then the Stalaki are bigger the shots. Ooh, that's a, a unit down. Not good. I can't quite remember what that was. Oh good. All back. That's not good either back. <laughs> Can't allow that to hit me. Alright, gotta take out these 20 mils. Get another mortar in. Ah, that's really no good, is it? My Stalaki DP just failing to hit that. Pretty spectacular how bad it's doing right now. Come on, just PTRD. There we go. Boom. That's all you needed to do. Nice, took that out as well. Staraki DP survived. Then we need some more Staraki to push on that side. Alright. Let's get these up. It's a tough old battle, this. Can't see that unit anymore. Well, maybe I killed it. I don't know. I doubt it. Very much doubt it. Estraki can just walk back. Estraki can move back. Oh wow, we've actually captured all the way up on that right hand side there. Lovely. I'm gonna go get my sniper to move up there. Ooh, that's a Kalari squad. Okay. Oh shit. That's a Zis 3 that's dead. It's annoying. Oh, there's a lot of Kalari there. Oh, bollocks. Get into cover. I don't really have rifle range onto those. It's kind of awkward. I can move this up to the edge here, just try and help, but yeah, there's Kalari. Ouch. Gosh, Yari. They're hurting as well. We'll get up on the left-hand side there. Maybe we can hold that position. We're going to get a supply truck for these mortars. They're going to be super important. These mortars are also going to be important. I don't have range on that right hand side, so we'll move that up a little bit. Any infantry units we see, we just got to smash with mortar fire. And then we can push on them with Stroki, because Stroki otherwise is not going to do much. I need like a Stroki DP and an almost Stroki on this right hand side to push off the Kalari. Uh, we're actually getting pretty close. We're going to be in rifle range, so we should be able to kill the 20 mil. 
There we go. Did take some damage though. Good. Got both of them. Alright. Making some ground. Pretty sure these are going to bump into Kalari on top of that hill. Ooh, not just Kalari. That's not good. All the stuff. Alright, we'll hit the rush yari. They're most important. Uh, we're going to bring in AT guns. Yuri, they ambushed me. No. Ah, oh, that's not good. We're gonna lose those, I think. It's a lot of stuff coming in on this right hand side. We're into phase B. Let's do it. Maxims. Um, Starkey DP. Starkey DP. Uh, what else can we bring? OBs. Uh, more OBs. Okay, with the mortar support, we're just about to get it right. Okay. Oh no. MG is going to be a pain. Okay, we're going to have that Staraki push forwards. These ones are all going to have to hold back whilst these ones now push forwards instead. Uh, these ones can all start pushing up the hill. We are going to find that Kalari unit eventually. It's going to be a APCR there. DOB. I'm gonna need some more infantry to push up this hill, so we'll go Straki DP. We need some more in this town as well, I think. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Okay. My mortars, for whatever reason, have not fired. I'm gonna lose my OB. That's really bad. Big mistake. Big mistake. I'm not so concerned about my sniper. These guys need to fall back. Need to mortar those. It's gonna get real hectic now. I know that much. The KFZ 7 1's coming up. And they're just pushing them straight into us. Is there another MG there firing us? Because looks like that OB is going to die as well. The 20 mil. Okay, we don't get like the majority of our points till phase C, so we've still got a little while ways to go.
It's going to be so hectic, though. Oh, and the Reshitsa, I completely forgot they had HE. Another OB dead. I'm losing them left, right, and center. I can't afford to do that. I really cannot. Let's move these up. Right, this didn't die, thank God. Alright, these Tharaki died. Oh my. Okay, let's bring in some more mortars. Tharaki DP going down. This really isn't going to be pretty, is it? I'm not going to destroy this unit, I don't think. I need a total victory, and I don't think a total victory is going to happen. But at least we'll stop the uh, AA from being a thing. Like, from them covering us. Okay. Definitely need to make sure I'm getting off these 20 mils. The whole like death sound is like so loud. Doing a lot of damage to the Reshitsa though, which is good. Pushing in with bulk infantry into the town might do the trick. Whilst we try and Push in elsewhere, on, especially on the left hand side. I need to get the sniper back up to the front. Hopefully, I can take out that SDK of Z71. Be a good kill if I can. I'm going to try and push these forwards, but... Not going to be straightforward. I guess with the 120 more mortars coming down, that might help out quite a bit. These, I don't know where they're going. Uh, let's get Kanayas and a couple of Stroki. Push across the open there. There's just so many <laughs> AA weapons on that left side. I took out another 20 mil, that's just good. Uh, these are probably going to have to unload early. Is that Reshitsa could just pop our transports quite well. I'm also going to want to hit this Kalari. Just doing like mass mortifier right now. Copying the AI, just doing utter mortar spam. I captured that. Um, I'm gonna have these try and push across, I guess. Um, let's bring up some more units to hold this right hand side.
We're getting some maxims push up there. Some more supply. These can help far away. Okay, I mean, we're taking, they're bringing up a lot of the Adresi Tsar, which is probably a good thing for us. I definitely need to keep the Mortifier coming down on this side. Miss Kalari hurt a lot. Let's get a couple of these to go over there. I should have artillery fire coming down on the SDK as it's in one. Yep, there we go. Killed it off. That's good. Keep this mortifier going down. What we gotta do. I moved into phase C. I think what I've gotta do in phase C. Is just bring in as much stuff as I can. Just flood it in. Because then we just don't have to worry as much about micromanagement. I can just select all and attack move. I'm surprised I'm getting away with just mortaring those on the, using those on the road. I guess I don't really have anything that can counter battery, so. Yeah, it's not going terrible, but it's not going great either. Tough battle. We'll have killed off a lot of Kalari, uh, so I'm happy about that. Hmm. Although, actually, have we even killed that much Kalari? I'm not even sure we have. No, I don't actually think we have. I'm having to mortar them so damn much. I 
Alright, we took that flag. Let's push for this flag. These guys. There's two Rezits uh, up on that hill. This can probably unload up here. I mean, we might get like a minor victory, but there's only a minute left. Actually, ridiculous. Major victory would have been nice, but I mean, minor victory all day. The whole intention of this battle was to push off the AA, and uh, this will do it. It's just that it will leave us vulnerable to counterattack if we don't get a major victory. We need a lot more flags to get a major victory, unfortunately. There's not enough points in phase A. I think it's probably the biggest scores here. Well, the reason we didn't manage to break through completely. 25 minutes, 18 seconds. 83 kills, 42 losses. Decent kill death, but well, not decent. Two to one is actually not very good. But uh, yeah, and losing a lot of the OBs really hurts. Straki, not too worried about. Hmm. Trying to think like how that could have been better. I guess not investing in as many mortars at the very start might have been a better idea. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. I guess one problem we do have is if they actually come along and set up air superiority or AA now, uh, it will shoot my aircraft. So I probably want to place them defensively. Something like this. But we'll do that next time. Because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. The next time around, I'm going to go ahead and get some air superiority here. And then we'll make sure to move this uh, AA up on the right hand side so that it can support uh, better over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm relatively happy with how this turned out. Again, we're, vul we're vulnerable to counterattacks. But that's moved all of these units pretty much. Just need to bring in reinforcements, get the air set up, and then look at attacks on this side of things. Alright, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.